Hi Carolyn, Trichologist here at Absolink. Just following on a little bit more about um, autoimmune and how important iron is for your immune system. So when we're talking about iron, we're not just talking about iron, your free iron. There's a whole lot of iron studies which need to be looked, understood and tracked. Um, not just for autoimmune, we're talking about for everything. I'm seeing so many different changing um, iron levels in, in women and men. And I'm talking highs and lows as some of these problems are autoimmune as well, but um, just straight low iron or low ferritin can also cause diffuse hair loss. So we know a lot about iron because we're coming across it um, all the time. And the big thing to understand here is your free iron, your iron, to raise that, your doctor will say to use an iron tablet or a liquid iron, something like spatone, or spartone I should say. So it's elemental. So when we're raising free iron, which is energy, you need to use elemental because it gets straight into your system and gives you the energy. However, at the other end of the scale is your ferritin. Now if your ferritin is like, your ferritin is your storage. Okay, so it's what your body relies on. And we need to have that storage as well as the iron to grow hair and we've got to have enough in the body and then have left over for the hair. But if we're raising ferritin, then we would use something like our organic. And most um, ferritin organic ones are a liquid form, not so much a tablet form, okay? So you have to really clearly understand which one. And in some cases, we've got low iron and low ferritin, so we might need to use both. Now here, when we're using elemental type, whether it's tablet or liquid, it cannot be with your alkalizer. See, elemental is the opposite charge. So we need it to absorb, so we're not gonna put it with the stuff that we're facilitating absorption with. So you would take this stuff as directed on the box by your doctor or your healthcare practitioner and normally means in the morning or in the evening and they sometimes say completely away from food. However, if we're taking our organic and you've got no ferritin, well generally you have an affected immune system so you're not going to absorb. So we would pop it all in with the green drink to make sure it absorbs. The other thing, iron is a mineral. How many do we need? 60 to 80 essential minerals per day, every day, required for every human body and your immune system. Bang your minerals in there as well. These are also organic. The immune system, the essential fatty acids, what else does iron need? They all work in synergy. <laughs> your multivitamins and of course we protect the immune system. So your base nutrition comes in to support raising the ferritin and getting things right. So when you're doing this type of therapy, always follow it for about four months and then you would try and check your bloods again. Always follow the recommendations and the instructions of your doctor, but if your doctor's not helping you raise your ferritin as we need for hair, then we can help you as well. And always check on your pH at the same time. So any questions, or I want more information or share your story, feel free to email me. It's info at absolute.com.au.